Countries around the world are building new cities of the future to accommodate our growing population. These cities have new design concepts and incorporate amazing new technological innovations. So join me for today's video as we take a trip around the world to explore 15 amazing future cities currently under construction. Number 15. Lijiu Forest City in recent years, China has begun to turn towards greener energy alternatives, and one striking example of this is Lijiu Forest City. The idea behind it is that all of its buildings will be completely covered in plants and trees, with all of these buildings having square and rectangular cubicles for people to work and live in. The hope is that these cities can be as close to carbon neutral as possible, and while one of these buildings with a capacity of 500 people has already been built, the goal is to make an entire city of them that can house up to 30,000 people, 40,000 trees, and more than a million plants from over 100 different species. Number 14. Diamniadio Lake City Senegal is one of West Africa's more important economies, yet in order to propel it to the next level, the government has begun construction of Diamniadio Lake City. Being built in an attempt to relieve the congestion of the capital city of Dakar and spur new business activity, the project is coming in at a whopping $2 billion and should be completed by 2035. The hope is that the city will have several futuristic buildings, with some of the highlights including the Abu Diyaf International Conference Area, the Dakar Arena for Sports, and an exhibition center. However, given that the construction began quite recently and since many things are still up in the air, only time will tell whether or not it will develop into an important urban metropolis. Number 13. Nusantara while Indonesia's capital city of Jakarta is a crowded and lively place, it's also somewhere that may not exist in the next hundred years. After all, due to the over-extraction of groundwater, it's sinking at an alarming rate. In fact, in the northern part of the city, it's sunk by two and a half meters in the past 10 years, and research shows that some areas could be entirely submerged by 2050. As such, the government of Indonesia has decided to build an entirely new capital city, known as Nusantara. Construction began in July of 2022, and the move is expected to cost a whopping $32.4 billion. It's set to be fit with towering skyscrapers, and it will hopefully surpass the already bustling capital of Jakarta, although we won't know if this will be the case until its completion date of August in 2024. However, given all the resources going into it, I wouldn't be surprised if it's quite beautiful once it's complete. Number 12. King Abdullah Economic City Saudi Arabia's oil money has allowed it to seriously propel its growth, yet one megaproject that's still currently causing it to get caught in the sand is the King Abdullah Economic City. It was first announced in 2005. The idea was to make the city one of the world's most competitive investment destinations by having it filled with economic infrastructure such as ports, railways, and industrial factories. Covering an area roughly the size of Washington, D.C., and having a planned capacity of 2 million people, the city was supposed to be a jewel of the Middle East. However, the reality has been far from that. Still a work in progress, only about 40% of the project has been completed, and to date there are only about 10,000 residents. As such, while the city is filled with super modern looking villas, they are all but empty, and only time will tell whether or not the city will ever grow to King Abdullah's initial projections. Number 11. Finland's Bunker City Russia and Finland have always had a bit of a tense relationship, and given the war in Ukraine, the idea of a Russian conflict in Finland seems all the more likely. However, Finland has anticipated a potential conflict for decades, and just a few months ago it revealed to the world that it has a massive underground city that's all but ready for a major clash. Located 30 meters below the ground of the capital city of Helsinki, the 9 million square meter city is able to house a whopping 900,000 people, and it's strong enough to fend off a potential nuclear threat. Given that Helsinki has a population of 650,000, its sheer size is pretty incredible. And when you further consider that Finland has Europe's largest artillery stock, an army of 240,000 and national conscription so every man is able to fight, it becomes clear that Finland is really ready for anything. And while many of the details surrounding the Helsinki bunkers construction are currently under wraps, what is clear is that it would be an important defensive tool against any sort of Russian aggression. Number 10. Nurkent In recent years, China has begun debuting its Belt and Road Initiative around the globe, with the idea being that it will create a global trade network that spans across over 100 countries and make the Hidden Kingdom exceptionally rich. 
On the forefront of this initiative has been the investment of billions of dollars into infrastructure abroad, and there are few places that exemplify this spirit of development quite as much as Nurkent. Located in southeastern Kazakhstan near the Chinese border, the idea is that it will accommodate 100,000 workers serving the nearby Korgos dry port. And as part of its funding structure, a Chinese logistics company has 49% ownership of the land. The hope is that this city will be a gateway to the rest of Central Asia, making it vital to the realization of China's grandiose plans. Yet while the hopes are high for Nurkent, China is currently going through some tough times financially, and so the viability of the Belt and Road Initiative as a whole may be in jeopardy. As such, it's unclear whether or not Nurkent will become all it's being cracked up to be or not. Number 9. Echo Atlantic City Given the fact that Nigeria is one of the world's largest producers of oil, it makes sense that it's one of the richest areas on the planet. And it's with its insane amounts of oil money that plans are being devised to create Echo Atlantic City. Being constructed on land reclaimed from the Atlantic Ocean, it's essentially being built on man-made islands just off the coast of the capital city of Lagos. Coming in at a total of 11 million square meters, it will be the size of Manhattan's skyscraper district and will be protected from even the most severe of storms with the help of an 8.5 kilometer long seawall. The idea is that it will be both self-sufficient and sustainable, as it's set to feature buildings with eco-friendly and state-of-the-art urban designs and have its own power generation station, clean water, advanced telecommunications, spacious roads, and tree-lined streets. However, despite the current progress, locals have complained that the city building has caused some serious coastal erosion and ocean surges. And I just hope that Nigeria is able to actively combat these issues so the Echo Atlantic City and the surrounding areas are problem-free. Number 8. Shenggang China is well known for creating multiple planned cities in order to facilitate its growing population and move people into urban areas. And Shenggang is the newest project in this slate of developments. It's designed to be larger than New York City. It was first announced in 2017 and is more or less seen as Xi Jinping's pet project. Most of these planned cities have been located in solid geographic locations. This one's located inland in what is essentially the middle of nowhere, and many features of the city have direct ties to the political role of Xi Jinping. It's totally dependent on a huge input of capital and people from Beijing. It's believed that many people and businesses will be transplanted there against their will. And while it supposedly will be complete in August of 2023, she has dictated that it will be a modern city in 2035 and a world-class urban cluster by 2050. Yet while the hope is that Jiangan will serve as a development hub for the Beijing Tianjin Hebei Economic Triangle, the recent downturn in the real estate market in China may make continued development difficult, and only time will tell whether or not this place will ultimately be successful. Number 7. Akon City of all the entries on this list, the one that's by far the most controversial is Akon City. First announced by the washed-up artist Akon back in January of 2015, his idea was to attract $6 billion to the project in order to make it a real-life Wakanda in his home country of Senegal. In a computer rendering of the project, an 8.1 square kilometer city with twisting skyscrapers was envisioned, with this city including condominiums, office parks, a university, an ocean resort, and a 5,000-bed hospital. The city was supposed to use the blockchain and run on Akon's cryptocurrency coin, making it a futuristic bastion of commerce and technology on Africa's west coast. However, while the first stone was laid in 2020, to date, this stone has remained alone in an empty dirt field, and the small placard advertising the mega project has even fallen off of it. This has raised some major concerns, and while some locals still have hope, most experts believe that the project displays characteristics of fraudulent business ventures, such as Ponzi schemes and pyramid schemes. And for all intents and purposes, it's more than likely that this planned future city is little more than a fraudulent money collection scam. Number 6. The Line While most cities are made of multiple buildings that add a level of character and personality to the area, the line throws these conventions out the window. That's because, as the name would suggest, the line is, well, a line made up of two parallel skyscrapers. The entire city will be contained within a structure that's 200 meters wide, 500 meters tall, and 170 kilometers long, and will stretch across an area of land in the northwest part of Saudi Arabia near the Red Sea. 
set to hold a total of 9 million people. The structure will be extremely futuristic, and if the current plans are realized, it will feature vertically layered homes, offices, public parks, and public schools, year-round climate control of all indoor and outdoor spaces, and a high-speed rail that will transport residents from end to end in just 20 minutes. With all of this supposedly meaning that the city will have no cars, streets, or carbon emissions, built as a part of a plan known as Vision 2030 that's intended to draw in 100 million annual visitors, work on the project began in October of 2021, and the city is set to be complete by, as the project name suggests, 2030. However, while the structure may be futuristic, many are also seeing it as dystopian and therefore a significant number of people who would rather not see this city be created. Yet there is certainly an argument to be made either way, so I invite you to leave your hot take in the comments down below. Let's get some predictions down there about this one. Number 5. Rawabi while the West Bank may not be one of the most peaceful places on the planet, it's nonetheless the site of a massive futuristic city project. Headed by American-Palestinian billionaire Bashar al-Majri, the $1.4 billion luxury city is being built from scratch in order to help stimulate economic growth in the West Bank. Al-Majri has called it a version of the Marshall Plan of the post-World War II era, and while he hopes to make money, he also hopes that the city will help improve fortunes of those living in the area. The current plan is for Rawabi to have 6,000 units spread across 22 communities, with each coming in at between $70,000 to $180,000. While cheaper than many of the apartments in Palestine's largest city of Ramallah, it's still a very large sum, and for the most part, only the upper middle class can afford that. Yet, while the project idea is quite noble, it's still far from complete. To date, 1,600 housing units have been built in five of the city's 22 plant neighborhoods, and work is currently underway on an additional 400 in a sixth. While technically its own city, its proximity to Jerusalem make it feel a lot more like a trendy suburb, and due to its location in the West Bank, very few Palestinians without Israeli passports are able to actually go there. As a result, the city's been in effect a landing pad for Arab Israelis, and to date, Rawabi's current population comes in at just 5,000 people, with 70% being permanent residents and the other 30% being weekend or vacation visitors. As such, there are many who see Rawabi not as a way to lift up Palestine, but as a community dedicated exclusively to wealthy Arabs, and as a result, there are certainly mixed feelings towards it. Number 4. Mina City of Tents Every single year, Muslims from around the world travel to Mecca, which is known for hosting a massive pilgrimage event known as the Hajj. Every Muslim in the world is called to attend at least once in their lifetime, and as a result, as many as a million people attend each year in order to fulfill their holy obligations. Historically, many pilgrims in attendance have stayed in the Mina Valley, but in 2022, Saudi Arabia upgraded the living quarters by creating a massive tent city. In essence, it's a massive hotel scheme to make money for the central government, with the cheapest tents selling for $2,700, the mid-level tents selling for $3,400, and the highest level selling for $3,900. This tent city attempts to make the Hajj a much more enjoyable experience, as rather than have everyone cook outside and live in relatively cramped conditions, as was common in the past, this tent city allows for everyone to have their bedding and basic necessities provided for, with everyone having an adequate amount of space and being fed three meals per day. In terms of amenities, the tents are air-conditioned, have electric outlets and mobile phone chargers, and share communal areas, toilets, and bathrooms, fit with access to freezers and fridges at receptions that serve ice-cold water, snacks, and ice-cold refreshments, free of charge throughout their stay. In the case of a fire breaking out, water tanks with a capacity of 200,000 cubic meters of water are ready to be used at a moment's notice, and all in all, the experience is far safer and more hygienic than it has been in the past. And given that these tents seem to have been popular, I'm expecting to see further additions made to this newly built tent city in the coming years. Number 3. New Administrative Capital Egypt, it's one of Africa's biggest economic heavyweights, and its capital city of Cairo is where the beating heart of the country lies. Home to 9.5 million people, the city is a bustling metropolis, and while this makes it a cultural and economic hub, it also comes with its fair share of problems. After all, the crazy amounts of congestion have considerably reduced the quality of life of its people, and it's supposedly for this reason that the government is building the new administrative capital. 
expected to house embassies, government agencies, the parliament, 30 ministries, a grandiose presidential compound, a green space double the size of New York Central Park, and some six and a half million people when completed. It's supposed to be an urban metropolis built to the highest standards. However, the money trail seems to point to the fact that the reasons for building the new administrative capital are far from altruistic. For one, 51% of the project is owned by the military, and this means that it will be able to reap massive profits by selling property and real estate once the initiative is completed. Since the actual government has little oversight over military spending, it's likely that corruption is running rampant, and this is made worse by the fact that many outside observers believe that Egypt can't actually afford to build this new city. It's slated to cost a whopping $59 billion. It is essentially just a mega city meant to service the rich. Yet the country's fragile economy in recent years means that it will likely not be able to pay back the billions in loans it took out to build it. As such, there are real concerns whether it will be possible to finish this project, making this new city far from a sure thing. Number 2. Maldives – Floating City Unless you're a geography buff, chances are that you've really never heard of the Maldives. It's located in the middle of the Indian Ocean. This small set of islands doesn't usually get all that much press. But in recent months, it's got a quite a bit of attention due to its planned floating city. Aptly named the Maldives Floating City, it's built in partnership between the Maldives government and the developers Dutch Dockland. And by all accounts, the city is both very unique and very necessary. You see, the idea is to create 5,000 floating houses anchored to the bottom of a 200-hectare lagoon, with these being interconnected via a series of canals. In order to protect these homes from the ocean's waves and enhance the area's ecosystem, the idea is to attach artificial coral banks to the undersides of the city to stimulate coral growth. And in order to make it as eco-friendly as possible, there will be a 15-minute long ferry service between the city and both the capital city and main airport, so that residents can get to and from their homes easily and travel around the city exclusively via foot, bike, boat, or electric scooter. On one hand, this project is rather upscale, and it's believed that these homes will go for between $150,000 and $200,000, making them rather expensive by local standards. However, it's also very necessary, as most of these islands that make up the Maldives are less than a meter from sea level. This is a problem, since it's believed that most of the Maldives will be completely underwater by the year 2100. And as a result, this pilot program may need to be implemented on a massive scale in order to save the Maldives from total destruction. However, this city in particular is currently in its initial construction phases, and it will likely be completed by the year 2027. Number 1. The Floating City While the UN is an organization that is often accused of doing absolutely nothing, they are backing what will soon be a super high-tech floating city. Set to be located just off the coast of Busan, South Korea, the city's plans have been fully drafted and construction is set to start in the next few months. And it seems that the project will be pretty incredible. It's set to house a total of 12,000 people. It's being built as part of the United Nations Human Settlements Program, with the goal of the initiative being to test a new model of real estate development. Led by a sustainable design startup known as Oceanics, the city is being designed to withstand 100-year storms and have a foundation that rises as sea levels do, allowing it to essentially last forever, whether or not sea levels rise to crazy high levels. The city will consist of three different platforms, with the first being designed to hold housing, the second for public spaces like schools and theaters, and the third for research and development, with each platform being connected to the others and to land via bridges, while being anchored to the ocean floor with removable pile moorings. In order to make these moorings as strong as possible, they'll be coated in a buoyant limestone material known as bio-rock, and in order to lessen the load on the platforms, all the buildings will have a cap of five stories and be made of lightweight sustainable materials, such as timber and bamboo. In order to get around, residents will ditch cars and trains and get around via bike or on foot. And in order to be as self-sustaining as possible, the city will feature gardens, solar panels, freshwater filters, and fishing cages to catch scallops or kelp. Both the UN and Oceanics then hope that this model can be applied to other low-lying areas to protect against rising sea levels. And given its budget of $627 million, it seems like they have a lot of hope in the project. However, even in the best-case scenario, the entire project will not be completed before 2025, meaning it will be a while before this futuristic model is realized. 
Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Watch our binge watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.